Hey, YouTube. Coming at you today, it's Peter Morbacher, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about adjustment layers. Um, adjustment layers are one of those things, again, like masks, that are something that you don't really, um, if you don't know about it, you don't think that you would need it, but as soon as you know about it, you can't stop using it. So um, it's a fun finishing technique, uh, and it's going to help us, you know, uh, achieve a stronger sense of lighting and uh, more control over the color in our image here. So, um, you know, I've got a couple adjustment layers already built in over here. We've got a soft uh, color balance that's, um, you know, tying the tones together a little bit better. And then we're also darkening the edges a little bit, you know, with our level adjustment layer here. Um, so if you ever want to make a new one, it's real easy. You just uh, click on this black and white circle at the bottom of your layer tab here to create new fill or adjustment layer. And then you pick whichever kind you want. Um, you know, uh, curves is standard for adjusting all of your contrast. Um, hue saturation uh, can come in a lot of handy. Color balance is, uh, I'm always throwing down color balance adjustment layers. Um, and you know, you just uh, click on the type that you want and you get all of your parameters here. You know, you can just tweak your parameters however you want and it's going to make an adjustment. These are the same sort of adjustments that you're going to get out of the image tab up here if you go through any of these adjustments, except for the fact that these are permanent and are affecting a specific layer, while adjustment layers are uh, customizable, they're removable, and um, you, know, you can actually adjust their position in the layer stack. Um, for instance, if I wanted to affect only the background, I can drag this adjustment layer down here, and now it's only adjusting the background. If you ever want to change any of the parameters, all you have to do is double click on the little thumbnail here, and you can change your parameters however you feel like. And you know, you can really play around with it. It gives you a lot of freedom to experiment because it's not locking you in. You know, you're you always have the freedom to go back and change it. You also have the ability to um, mask off this adjustment to only certain portions of the canvas. Uh, I talk about uh, masking in another one of my tutorials. Basically, all you need to do is use gradients or paintbrushes or fills or whatever you want to, uh, to, to uh, paint in a black and white pattern on your, on your mask here to hide or reveal certain parts of this adjustment. And, you know, that is, it's just like, they give you total control over what you're, you know, how you're applying this tool here. Uh, another weird adjustment layer is this thing called gradient map. Um, what gradient map does is it uh, maps, it remaps the uh, colors of the image based on the value. Um, and what you do is you pick a gradient, and it's going to, um, remap all of the, uh, the color to that gradient. So all the blacks are going to be, you know, bright blue. All of the, 50, all, anything that's 50% value is going to turn red. And then um, the white is going to turn um, bright yellow. And while this seems really gimmicky and lame looking, uh, you can actually get some really great effects out of this if you start playing around with it a little bit, like turning the opacity way down you start getting some interesting sort of semi-lighting effects. You can overlay this with soft light or, or, or um, overlay, and you can create some interesting lighting effects. And then, again, you can mask these off however you want, and you can create some really fun and interesting um, effects sort of after the fact. And if you ever don't like something, you know, you can always just trash it or hide it you, know, you can re you can adjust the order, uh, have it only affect certain elements within the canvas. It's all like it's all up to you. Um, you know, it. I hope that uh, you can find this useful. It's something that I use all the time. Uh, it saves me a ton of time, and it, you know, it's just one of those things where you just shouldn't have to worry about you know the colors that intensely on your first pass through. You can get your shading down, and then you can you take these uh, adjustment layers, and you can really like tweak things uh, to be more, um, you know, to your liking after the fact. You know, it's one of the 
great strengths of Photoshop. And these are one of those tools that I don't think I would be able to live without if I switched over to anything else. Um, but enough pimping out Photoshop. Thanks a lot for checking out my videos. I've loved all the positive feedback and comments I've been getting on DeviantArt and YouTube. Um, keep watching. I've got some more stuff for you guys still. Um, I'm running low on content, but I'll still be doing painting demos. So, um, you know, hit that subscription button. Um, I'd love to see uh, you guys enjoy these things. You know, have a great time doing them. So, uh, a lot of love out to you guys. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm out. Thanks for watching.